Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. So today I have a uh, rather large Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I found a lot of great brand name items and I'm excited to show you what I got. And um, this way, if you like something that you see, you can go to your local Dollar Tree and find the same. So I have some regular items and then some interesting items. So Right on top here, I have the uh, Scott toilet paper. These are four rolls of Scott, which is brand name. This says something weird on here. It says tested for strength, designed for comfort. I don't wanna know how they, they product test this. <clears throat> I picked up a roll of the sparkle paper towels. Um, this is, it says spirited prints, which it just has like leaves on it. I don't know how spirited that is. It says 46 sheets per roll sparkle with thirst pockets i try to get any paper towel that doesn't have that picture of that ugly baby on it um that's i don't know if it's brawny or no it's not brawny i forget i forget what towel it is it has like a little child on it with spaghetti sauce on his face or whatever i just find that picture very annoying even though it's just the wrapper and i'm just gonna take it off anyway it just irritates me so i got the sparkle <clears throat> Then I found some wall art. I know the last thing I needed was more wall art, but I just could not resist this one because it's so cute. I'm gonna hang it up in my bathroom. It says wash, it has little clothes spins on it, and it says open 24 hours laundry. So a lot of people have been hauling different art pieces that the Dollar Tree has had, but I haven't liked any of the sayings on them. Um, I think they're kind of corny, kind of cheesy. So this, I was happy to find. I thought this was refreshing and very, very cute. And it has that little back part there that you can hang it up. Then I found these um, hair products. Um, this is a brand name item. I know I'm cutting my head off in this video, um, camera wise. Let me just move you guys back a little bit. Still, just gonna have to lean a little bit. Um, so I found this Herbal Essences, um, and this is Bio Renew Volume um, Foam Conditioner. Very pretty bottle and everything. I sucker for packaging. This the packaging on this got me. So this says white grapefruit and mosa mint. Now I was thinking it said mimosa, but it doesn't. It says white grapefruit and mosa mint okay and then it says fresh fun foam our delightful foam conditions fine hair which i have without the way down the result volumized hair that's full of life so i want to see <clears throat> i want to see if that's true if it doesn't weigh down fine hair and then it says um well it shows you how you're supposed to to put that in your hair but anyway it says wash your hair with bio renew shampoo which i don't have Shake well and apply a palm size amount from roots to tips. Adjust amount for hair length. Let absorb into hair. Dry and style as usual. Use with every wash. So I'm going to try that and see how it is. I have no idea how it smells. It's taped shut, so I'm not gonna open it. Um, but when I do my empties video, I'll let you guys know how that is. They did have another scent, and of course I had to get both. And that is the blue ginger um so we'll see how that is i don't know if it's showing up backwards on the screen the print anyway so i'm running out of toothpaste i always seem to be running out of toothpaste i don't know maybe because i'm you can't, you can't brush your teeth too often well that's not true. I, I brush my teeth the, the adequate amount of times, but I'm always seeming to run out of toothpaste. Um, so this time I decided to get this, this, I don't know what you would call this. It's not a jar of toothpaste, but it's like a, a different type package of toothpaste and it's the gel. I don't like toothpaste that's that white paste. I like the jelly. This has got like some white stuff in it. Um, so I want to see if, well, how this is. It says uh, whitens to help teeth stay bright uh and this is crystal mint by colgate another name brand um i want to see if it 
gets stuck in the bottom. You know how like when you use a tube of toothpaste, the stuff always gets stuck at the bottom and you have to roll the tube to get the stuff out of the bottom. But anyway, I wanna see how that is if um, it's better than tube toothpaste. If you hear snoring in the background, this is always my pug making pug noises. Then I had a travel size toothbrush um, that I used use, but um, I, I feel like this shirt looks absolutely terrible on me. Uh, I had a subscriber send this shirt to me. I love the shirt. It's just that I feel like I'm I'm frumpy today, you know, because it's a it's a weekend. But anyway, so I found this portable toothpaste toothbrush pouch, which I I really like because it has this zipper pouch. And this is this a brand name? No, it's not. It's called the Plackers Travel Kit. So you get this little zipper pouch and in there is a toothbrush toothpaste and then you can't see it but it has the placards uh toothpicks in there it has a plot uh, a, a package a package of the placards um toothpicks which i thought was nice i don't really need toothpicks that often because i don't eat really eat food that gets stuck in my teeth um but it's always good to have them and then so you could use this and then refill it you know with your toothpaste and then it has even though it says the placards travel kit it does have the crest brand toothpaste in it and you can refill this with your toothpicks toothpaste and toothbrush and have it as a travel thing i don't like the travel size toothbrushes the ones that are real real small because i just i don't i i prefer this the only thing that this is missing that would have made it better would have been a small container of mouthwash but i did also pick up some mouthwash so i will get to that so i thought this was really cool and i needed one of these which is what i went to the store to get so then i got these travel size containers these are travel bottles it says april bath and shower so they had two kinds they had one package that just had the regular two um type containers and then they had this kind which has the regular containers and then the spray container so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill one of these with mouthwash and bring it with me uh with my my little travel kit here and then i was thinking for this i would use i would take the bath and body works large spray bottles of the fine fragrance mist and put it in here but then i realized i don't think those unscrew they don't do they um so i don't know what i'll do with this maybe i have some other fragrance mist like i have um body fantasies vanilla kiss whatever that i bought i think that one unscrew so i could always just put it in here i can find a use for that i got some more of this shave gel i'm forever using this stuff it's great um it's a repeat purchase for me. Then I found the EED, EAD, I'm sorry, EAD uh, spray. They make the EADs, um, these are like the designer imposters sprays. Uh, they make them in perfumes, now they make them in body sprays. I was able to find one, one of the Britney Spears Curious fragrance imposter. And I used to wear Britney Spears Curious and I liked it for like the first time that I bought it. And then the second time I bought it, I don't know, they changed the formula or whatever, but it never smelled the same as it did the first time I purchased it. But this is so strong. You don't even have to spray it. All you have to do is smell the cap. And it is amazing. It smells exactly like Curious. And I wanted to get another one and I could not find it. Uh, and then I went to another Dollar Tree and they did not have it. So, and this one is called Cautious. So there's that. I picked up some more mouthwash. I have the Lavoris mouthwash in the spearmint and I think the cinnamon, which I haven't used yet. And Lavoris is supposed to be an expensive mouthwash, um, but they carry it in the Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't used it yet because I've been hooked on this, which is always a repeat purchase for me, which I love. And this is the Assured brand Kids Anti-Cavity Fluoride Rinse in Bubblegum. It's alcohol free. It's amazing. It tastes just like bubblegum and yet you feel like you're getting a clean 
mouth feeling. And so I picked up some more of that. Then I needed some antibiotic cream because the weird thing about the, the, the I'm gonna say the body shop, the weird thing about the Dollar Tree is they have these huge cream, bottles of cream in hydrocortisone and they have hemorrhoid cream and they have muscle ache cream and these giant tubes. But if you want antibiotic ointment, which is probably what you would be using the most, um, unless you have really big hemorrhoids, I don't know. Um, the, the antibiotic cream is so small and they only have one kind. And this is the Natureplex Triple Antibiotic Original Ointment. Um, so I picked up some of that. And then I picked up this. This is a brand name. This is Salon Selectives. I don't know if this is a good purchase for me because um, I noticed later that it's argon oil and that tends to make my hair greasy. So I don't know. This is Salon Selectives Frizz Control Leave-In Smoothing. It just says leave-in smoothing. It doesn't say leave-in smoothing what. Um, Argon oil from Morocco smooths and protects. So I'm hoping that I could use this instead of my gel um, to take out the frizz in my hair, but I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna make my hair oily. And the weird thing about that, it always makes me think of, there's this comedian, if you haven't seen him, you should check him out. He, uh, His name is Mitch Hedberg, but he passed away, drug overdose very sad but he has this joke where it's like about hair gel he's like i wash you know i wash my hair it's clean now i'll put gel in it and f it back up which is really true because you've washed your hair and now you're putting stuff in it <laughs> so then i got some more of these this is a repeat purchase for me but i do have a caution warning on these these are um fruit bars i have tried the strawberry now I'm trying the blueberry. These are the fruit and grain. They're sort of like a knockoff of the Nutri-Grain bars. This is flavor kissed, kissed with spelled K-I-S-T. Um, the thing about these is I like them, but they are very sweet. If you're not used to sweet tasting things, they do have 12 grams of sugar per bar. The bars as compared to Nutri-Grain are heavier and they have like a cardboardy taste to them. So I'm kind of getting used to them so that I kind of like the cardboard taste um, over the Nutri-Grain bars. I'm kind of liking the brand X over Nutri-Grain. I don't know. But if you try them, just know that they're not going to taste exactly like the brand name stuff. Then another brand name item. I picked up some Armor All. It's got the little Viking there. Armor All Auto Glass Cleaner. And why did I pick this up? Because you guys will say, well, just use your windshield wiper fluid to clean the windows in your car. But if you have a dog or um, if you just get dust and dirt on the inside of your windows and you can't get to the car wash and you can't see because your windows are have dust on them or they have dog slobber on them, I picked up the Armor All, which I'm gonna keep in the car with the paper towels so that I can clean the inside of my windows, should they get dirty. They are dirty, I have to clean them. And then this says, auto glass cleaner, and then it says, crystal clear, streak free shine, safe on auto glass. So if it's auto glass cleaner, why would it not be safe on auto glass? So why do they need to put that on there? I don't know. Then I have another repeat purchase. These are really good. This is the Sun Best Pastry Crisps. And I just have something that I realized I left in my purse, which I'm going to have to go get. Um, so the Sun Best, f can't speak. Sun Best Pastry Crisps in Mixed Berries. I bought these before, I really liked them. Um, then I tried the chocolate, the double, triple chocolate ones. I didn't like them as much. They were okay. If you have like a chocolate craving, they're good. But I definitely prefer the mixed berry. So that was another repeat purchase for me. I picked up some deodorant. I always get the men's deodorant because I feel like women's deodorant just doesn't do anything. So I got the Speed Stick Power of Nature Avalanche deodorant. 
and this is green it's green it's got the little thing on there it kind of smells like <clears throat> white water rush from uh from bath and body works then i picked up this power stick spray i think it used to be called rock star or rock something i don't remember uh now it's soft floral but it smells really amazing as a body spray so this is a repeat purchase for me and then i i haven't burned a candle in quite a while so i didn't have a lighter so i needed a lighter so i picked up one of those and this has no brand name on it it's probably green briar yes no nope. distributed by crocs crocs lighter ink in brea california made in china okay so there's that then you guys are familiar probably with the poopery brand uh toilet spray there's also a bunch of different ones i had a, a unicorn one uh like this smell like cotton candy that you could use as like regular room spray and anyway so the the deal with these toilet sprays are that you're supposed to spray the water in your toilet before you use the restroom and then it traps the scent the the bad smell into the toilet so that you don't smell the poo smell so anyway the dollar tree has their now knockoff brand of that their brand x uh of it and it's called toilet spray that's all it says on there they can't get any more generic than that toilet spray so this is fresh citrus scent they also had lavender but i don't know i think the lavender uh I really have the citrus. I want to try the citrus. I want to see if it works. It says, keep the stinky smell away with a few quick sprays. So I want to see if the Dollar Tree stuff matches up to the brand name stuff. Then I needed another tote bag. Yes, I did. Because I have to put my empties in something. Although it's so cute. I hate to use it as just for the empties. I don't know. Maybe I'll use one of my uglier tote bags for the empties. And then, I don't know. So I thought this was really cute. I'm going to use it for my empties. Just to put that in there and show you guys at the end of the month. And then, excuse me guys. Whoa. I have one last item that I left in my purse that I wanted to show you. Whoa, that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And why did I have it in my purse? Okay, so... It's these M&Ms, and these are hazelnut spread M&Ms, which I've never seen before. So I guess they have like Nutella in them. Looks like poo. Um, so I had it in my bag because I didn't want to leave it in the car and have them melt. That's why they were in my purse. They are not open yet. So I don't know what they taste like. So we'll have to see. It's a very small bag. This is good, like, you know, I, I don't know if you're like me, but after you have a meal or something, you want something sweet. And so I just got these. So that concludes uh, my entire Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have stuff everywhere I have to put away. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little gray bell for notifications of all my videos. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.